put that back on. You'd be more comfortable with it. But you get up. Fresh woman, child, sleeping on the floor while I've got a bed for myself. So I'm going to take the couch to them. So nice when I can go and walk in the bed. I like to go out and sit in the door. I'm sad to say that my house is not a few more. If she's too thin to die, I'll take it. I'm 
Touchdown in that first half, seven nothing our score as we get going in quarter number three. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. For us, we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there, controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And Pickett going to move his guys around. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48 yard line. They run again with Harris. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. From the 44-yard line, here's second down at five. Well, looks like they'll move things around here. Now Pickett will look to pass it. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 31-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now a 
first down carry for Harris. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Harris and they'll be driven back here losing yardage to the 10 yard line moved back to the 10 they'll try on second and goal here quick hitter here it's complete only three yards there on the completion that'll lead to a third and goal back to throw pick it escaping the pressure right and oh it'll be intercepted Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's got Rome into space at the 45. And finally brought down at the 38. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. And he's going to have to eat this when he's down he goes. Joey Porter Jr. able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. The following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Throwing is Jackson. Complete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but wasn't enough to get him the completion. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Anytime the ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch, no matter what it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of ball in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And well, this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he is going to have a Ravens first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. Listen, when you're at this point of the game, all options are on the table. Fourth down, they say, we've got to go for it. And what a play they come up with. Big yardage there to keep the drive alive. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there the line of scrimmage because they're dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Buying time to his left. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked up by Mika 
Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Justin Matabike firing across the line there and planning him for a loss. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Pickett going to bootleg it. They'll roll him out right. That's caught downfield by Pickens. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 27 yards there, first down. He is smothered behind the line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. Now Pickett looking to change things up. Sliding out of the pocket. He's got this to Pickens. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And let him win the maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Here's Pickett. He finds Pickens over the middle. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Now how about this? They'll change it at the line. They run for it with Harris. And he is going to have a stealer first down. Earl Smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. Oh, man. That was some call right there. The game in the balance. They run for it on fourth down, and this has been the story all game long. They've been the ones that come up with the big plays when they needed them. And that last one, that may have won them the football game. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They try to throw the second down, but this one is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Pick it back to throw. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And not all W's are created equal, CD, and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. 
But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well. Today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are underway in Allegiant Stadium. So we will start here at the 25. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now, the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is. His first throw of the game. I uh, like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy, but you're still the leader. A game now of 21 yards. Garoppolo on first 
touchdown. Here's back-to-back -back catches to Devontae Adams. On the move past the 40. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, then this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. We're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. Look at me, I'm coming from the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And Garoppolo's going to change the play. Garoppolo again. He's going to wind up in air now. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and ten. Looking to throw on Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open, did you drop it? Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Working from the gun. Here's a diving catch right side. Defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. 11, 11. 21, 21. Inside the red zone. It's going to be a That is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. He brings up second down. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he did it, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. There's Garoppolo to throw. Oh, his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Rocky Sin. Like, get up there. Get up that motherfucker defense, nigga. We got landing on the whole club selling out of here to doing stadium. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Cleveland Brown Stadium on the shores of Lake Erie. Today, we've got a good one on tap in the AFC North as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Cleveland Browns. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go for Cleveland. And a fair catch signal forward and taken successfully. Second and five. Now Watson, he's going to move him around. 
Flush to his right. And so far as the defense is certainly coordinated both levels. got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Back to throw, Watson. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. The points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there, luckily, hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And got his man in complete! And he's going to pick up the Browns' first down on what will be a big play there on fourth and long. Some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Watson. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They've got to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Now they'll change things around before the snap. And now with the play clock getting down, Kevin Stefanski going to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Watson gonna stay out there as they'll go for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They could not convert, but they turn it over. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. The collegiate star here in the Buckeyes stand, it's Jim K. Dobbins. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Six yard line, a 
second down and six. Here comes Dobbins on the toss right. it inside the 40. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second down, Jackson. He finds his target, Beckham. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 25-yard line. Yeah, yeah. A give up the middle to Dallas. Down to about the 23. Yeah. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Flushed out right. And they came out to go with Changing this at the line. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Ravens go for it but come up empty. And this Browns defense stands tall. The Cleveland offense ready to go. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know they'd say to us, no luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. That they lost. Deep. Behind the chain, second and twelve. Now it's Watson. Here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. 
They will indeed snap it to Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. So here's a first and ten at the 38. They'll run up the gun with diligence. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 41 yards rushing for now. He's only carried the ball four times. His first carry, their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive. Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hold them through. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Edwards. This nigga didn't even block this motherfucker. Yeah. 
teams on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Set to get going. Yeah, with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here. Maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. 